This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Collect the nectar from each flower using the fewest blocks possible. Okay, the fewest blocks is critical here. So right now we have one block on, and it's going to be out of five. It's just a run block, so when I click run, nothing happens, because all we have is this block saying run. So let's just start, and we can test things out as we go. Actions. Well, the bee needs to go forward, right, because the flower has nectar. So that's going to move me forward. Notice now I have two out of my five blocks in use. Okay, and then what do I want to do? Well, I want to get nectar. Let's see if we're headed in the right direction. Great thing about code, you can test it all you want. It's not wrong to test it and be wrong. It's trying. Boom. Okay, so obviously I don't have the full answer, but this looks good so far. Okay, so another flower, more nectar, another flower, more nectar, uh, nectar. All right, let's see. Okay, and we have a problem though. I have the first three. You can always use the step button, by the way. If I click step, move forward, I'm gonna grab some nectar, move forward, I grab nectar, and it shows me which line runs. I use it when I'm stuck. But we have seven blocks already in use. Huh. Well, let's see here. If you take a look, I move forward and I get nectar. I then move forward and I get nectar. I then move forward and I get nectar. If you're repeating yourself in code, there's probably an easier way to do it. We don't need to use all these blocks to do the exact same three thing three times. We want to repeat or loop them, okay? So repeat blank times, four counter, repeat blank times is sounding good to me. I'm gonna drop it right here. So I'm gonna put my move get nectar in. Now, let me get rid of this stuff. I don't want to repeat it three times though, because how many times do I actually need to go? Well, there's five flowers. So now I'm headed to variables. Ah, I'm going to head to math and just drop this in, and then I can tell it repeat five times for five flowers. And what happens here is when run, repeat five times, the computer says, okay, I got to run the code in this block five times. I'm going to move forward and I get nectar. Boom. I'll show you. Move forward. The computer hits now. Get nectar. Hits the bottom of the loop. Zoop, back to the top. And we're going to move forward again and get nectar. Okay, so that was two times. One, two, three more, right? Move forward. Get nectar. Hit the bottom. Back to the top. Move forward. Get nectar. Now, boop. Hits the bottom. Loops back for the last time. And we made it. Awesome. Let's keep going.